this is the first time you've been to Rockefeller, you should know that this is a little bit different kind of university. We don't have undergraduates, we don't have a football team, we don't have a law school. We have a unified and simple mission, science for the benefit of humanity. This clarity of mission unifies the entire campus. Because of our small size and nimble structure, Rockefeller students are immersed in a highly interactive research environment in which they learn from the world's leading scientists and from each other. Today's ceremony highlights the relationship and the achievements of each graduating student as they are recognized by their faculty mentors. Today's graduates, like their predecessors, have learned science by doing science. And as you'll hear this afternoon, they have been incredibly creative and productive while here at Rockefeller. The various ways phages control bacterial populations. The fine-tuning of neural connections through learning. How does the brain regulate mood? Unfolding this complex problem of how stem cells choose when to make tissue and when not to. Their capacity to detect sounds over an incredibly broad range of intensities. The function of neural circuits through the lens of evolution. Using induced pluripotent stem cells to model neurodegenerative disease. Today we are proud and excited to be conferring the PhD degree upon 30 graduating students, a remarkable group of trainees who have been integral members of our community of scholars and who through their inspiration and hard work have become outstanding scientists in their own right. Thank you.